past fatal heart impact, past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and past I back up my actions. Back on mass, grab reactions, jack attack with every word and act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce. I ain't lost, I'm finally loose. Pick a new so bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a peace now, y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember you're discreet now. Get ready for the Alrighty, hello, hello everybody. This is Kiru Show here, and now, whenever we last left off with this series, a brief little refresher. We just had the family dinner with the Izuku Midoriya and Fuyumi Todoroki family. Now, with that being said, it ended just as well as anyone expected. An argument, a fight, and property damage. So all in all, it was relatively good. The night ended with Endeavor at least respecting Midoriya a little bit. Since the boy will stand, the boy will fight, and he does show character similar to his own. Now, Endeavor, yeah. He still doesn't like Midoriya dating his daughter. Especially since that's not a part of his plan. Now, with that being said, we will pick up with Izuku Midoriya this morning. The morning of the final exams where Aizawa, he's giving everybody the brief rundown. What's going on this morning is quite simple. Everybody is going to be gang gearing up in their hero uniforms, and they will be paired into teams to fight against a pro hero. Now, everyone is kind of shocked. However, Aizawa does then specify they're fighting members of the UA staff, which everyone does freeze at. Wait, you can't be serious. Now, that's what Denki does say. Aizawa saying he's very serious, and that, in fact, they are doing this very early. Since a lot of things are happening right now, they are having a brief Discussion about it all. The college, it is funded very well. However, a few things will be changed around and shifted. This is one of them. So, what they're going to need to do is simple. They're going to need to take out a pro hero in combat or escape or capture them. If they fail to do either of those, then it's quite simple. They fail. Now, Aizawa does continue on the explanation about the whole weights and basically, at least, evening it out for the staff. Everyone's a little more okay with that, as they all do get up and head to the locker rooms to change. Now, that is whenever we do cut to the locker rooms where everyone is changing, as we do have Madoya, who is currently putting on his mask. As he does slip it over his head, he does go to actually zip it up on the side of his neck, before he does bring up his hand and go to fix one of the gauntlets on his arm. As he does inspect it and make sure that it's properly fitted. Hmm, okay. So, yo, Bakugo, who do you think you're going to have to fight? Hmm. I don't know. Izuku, who do you think you're fighting? That's a good question. I'd say probably a racer head, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Izuku. Hmm? A racer head would probably be the likely pick. Think about it. Your quirk allows you to do versatile things. I'd say... Hmm... Either you, or maybe, hmm, I'm not too sure. But if I had to put money on it, I'd say one of us is at least going to get stuck fighting All Might. 
Oh god, that's gonna be scary. Dude, you're gonna fail that. Mm, maybe. Then again, we just have to capture him, right? Or escape. I can do my whole cube thing and we can go for a run. Hmm. Likely. Now, everyone does leave the locker room. As people are trying to make up battle strategies. Now, we do have whenever everybody does show up and they're in the observation room for the final exams. As All Might, he is getting things ready. Well, let's just say some random students are going through their exam, we do have Endeavor who would walk in. And he does make it known he's there. Ah, oh, so I showed up just in time. Everybody turning. As whenever Midoriya does look in Endeavor's direction, he does look kind of confused. Since Endeavor's wearing a new hero costume. That's different. I've never seen that one. Hmm. I see. So I had enough time for patrol this morning. Looks like I arrived just in time to participate. Hmm? Participate? You're teaching here now, Dad? Now. Endeavor, he does smile. And that smile turns into a shit-eating grin. It's the best way to explain it. Him specifying that yes, yes he is. It would be a shame of him to miss out on such an opportunity. To teach the younger generation. Now, everybody sees right through this pile of garbage Endeavor is trying to spew. A lot of them think that they're here for Todoroki. However, Todoroki, he knows that that's not true. As, we do have Midori who does walk directly up to Endeavor and look up at the man. As, there's barely, well, a few inches separating the two in their height. As, Izuka Midoriya, at the age of 18, is staring down the number two hero. I don't remember Endeavor's age, just add about three years to it. Now, Endeavor, he just does stare down Midoriya, asking him if he's thinking that they're going to fight against each other. I think so. I have a pretty good idea of the teams ever since you showed up. You're here to test me, aren't you? Hmm? Surprising. You knew that. Yeah. Me and your son, right? Besides, it only makes sense. All the fire corks together? Isn't that what you wanted? Yes. Yes, it is. You're clever, aren't you? Have to be. Creative quirk, creative mind. I see. Now, everyone, they can feel the temperature rising in the room. As All Might, he does quickly break up the situation, explaining to all of them that they can handle this in a few minutes, once the other exam is over. Now, we do actually have where Endeavor, he does go to walk away and walk over by All Might to look and see what the younger generation is currently doing. Now, we do actually have Midoriya, who does step out for a minute. Him heading back to the locker room very fast and grabbing his phone. Now, Midoriya, he does call Fuyumi. And we do cut to her in her college course, where she is currently typing on a computer before her phone does buzz. Her going to pick it up and see the contact before answering it and putting it to her ear. Hello? Izu? Hmm? Hey, really quickly, I have a question. Hmm? Uh, sure, what's up? Now, you do actually have Fumi who does shout, What? as she does throw herself onto her feet and slam her hand down onto the table. I have one immediately looking at her as she does look around before quickly going to walk outside of the room for one second. Now, once she is out there, you do have what she does say. So, my dad's teaching at UA. Yeah. And you are fighting him in your final exam. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, um, 
I didn't know he applied for a teaching job. Yeah, that surprised me too. Then again, he showed up late. Mm, sounds like him. Anyways, um, can't you throw the match? No. If I throw the match, I fail. Okay. Well, is there any way to pass other than fighting him? There is, yeah, but Fumi, I'm going to be honest with you. There's no way out of this situation. It's either I fight him now or I fight him later. I, I, I know. It's just I'd rather you two not fight at all. Yeah, I get it. The dinner one, that was an accident. He just kept going. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I don't blame you for that one, I blame him. And then again, this time he is coming to you. So I really can't be mad, as much as I want to. Listen, just please don't get hurt, and please don't hurt him too bad. Hmm? Hurt him too bad? You're for dad, right? Okay, maybe just at least hit him a few times for me. A few? You, you know what I meant. Anyways, I gotta get back inside. I kinda made a scene. Now, Midori would say goodbye. As she does hang up the phone and head back inside and try to explain that that was her father for a second. And she thought there was a family emergency. As she does quickly sit back down and one of her roommates or one of her friends next to her they know it's a lie because they saw the contact. And they do ask what's going on. Now, we do have Midori who does set his phone back down with his things and quickly make his way back. Now, Endeavor, yeah. He's already ready. He's at the city, and Midori and Todoroki are making their way there. As, as soon as they both Get inside the city, Endeavor, he's ready. And, all might, he does announce to them all that they can all begin. Now, once this does happen, Endeavor, he quickly does begin to rush forwards. And, using his new costume, he begins to propel himself forwards directly towards the two. Now, we do have Midori and Todoroki. Midoriya, he quickly does begin to take flight asking Todoroki if he knows any of his father's special moves. Todoroki explained to him that no, no, he doesn't. And that the ones he does know, he doesn't even really know how to use. Okay, I know a few of them, but this is new. What do he does say? As he does see Endeavor flying towards him. Now, Midoriya is trying to think. This is a test for Midoriya. Not just so he can pass UA, but for Endeavor's approval. <sighs> okay, what do I need to say? Him going to land back down onto the ground as he does bring his hands up and begin to use his quirk for tactile strength. Now, Midoriya, yeah, he surprises everyone, especially Karishima. He sees the stance Midoriya does take as Endeavor is rocketing forwards and does come to bring up his hands and throw a rocket punch at Midoriya by spewing fire through the backside of his gauntlets. Now, Endeavor, he does go to throw a left hook. As Midoriya, he does bring up his right hand and directly catch the left hand as Midoriya, he's fighting against it using his quirk, along with his physical body. Endeavor throwing another right hook as Midoriya also does catch it. Midoriya beginning to dig down his feet into the concrete as he does hold back Endeavor. And he does begin to start moving backwards. Before, he does throw both Endeavor's hands to the side and go to grab Endeavor by the back of a head, the head and headbutt him as hard as he can. Now, everyone's caught off guard whenever Endeavor, all of his momentum stops and he does actually go stepping backwards. As Midoriya, he does step forwards and throw a left hook as hard as he can across his face. 
No. Endeavor, he gets a left hook, and he gets just the shit knocked out of him. As Noe does shout, that's for Fuyumi, and he does then throw an uppercut talking about how that one was for Rei. Now, you do have Todoroki who does, who does quickly begin to slide to the right. And, using his left side, he does begin to start blasting fire at Endeavor. Now, Todoroki, he knows the weakness to Endeavor's quirk. Fight fire with fire. Especially when your weakness is running out of water in your body. Now, Endeavor, he quickly does piece that together. As, he does go to try and slide to evade it by blasting a quick burst of flames to one direction. As, Endeavor does talk about how he knows who Rei Todoroki is. And Midori, he does just start to walk forwards. Talking about how he's met that woman before. Now, All Might does try to express that they need to not bring personal matters into this. As Midori, he does bring up his hand and go to reach underneath his hero costume to pull out the earpiece. As he does bring it up to his mouth, ta- telling All Might that he's going to bring personal matters into this because that's why Endeavor is here in the first place, before crushing the earpiece in his hand and burning it. Hmm, I see. So, you're playing that game. Endeavor bringing up his hand and doing the same thing to his earpiece as he does rush forwards, blasting flame at, flames at Midoriya as Midoriya he does run in. Now, Midoriya uses his quirk to create a barrier around his, well, the front of him, and add an additional layer of protection. Midoriya running through the flames as he does then rush through them and directly punch Endeavor across the chest. And the two get to do a fl- the fury of punches. Midoriya, yeah. He's breaking apart his force field to throw out a punch. And Endeavor is trying to use the opportunity to flood flame into Midoriya. Or try to hit him. Now, Endeavor finds this to be somewhat useless. And he actually does have to begin to get more created, creative. Him trying to use a javelin, or even just... Try to use more and more firepower, and stronger amounts of force into his attacks. Now, everyone watch this. As Endeavor, he does knock Midoriya straight into a building, and he does blow apart a wall 20 feet wide. Or, let's say, not wide, long. And he smashes right through it, before smashing through the other wall of the building, as he does go to get back up. Midoriya tapping on each piece of the debris he has, as he does begin to levitate up into the air and quickly move forwards. As he does go to point at Endeavor and throw it in his direction. Now, Endeavor does watch that, as he does bring both of his hands up and begin to heat up flames directly in his fist, as he does begin to start turning them blue before throwing them up and blasting heat in that direction, immediately destroying the rubble, as smoke is all throughout the air. As it does happen, Midoriya, he does appear in the smoke as it does begin to clear, Endeavor talking about how he sees him as he does go to throw up one of his fists, Endeavor colliding with something as he feels it break. Now, Endeavor, he thought he broke Midoriya's ribs. However, we do have Midoriya who does come through the side and directly kick Endeavor in the side of the face. Now, you do have Todoroki, who he is, trying to think of a, think of a plan. He's watching Midoriya do this. He's going toe-to-toe with his dad. However, he knows his dad is holding back. His dad is trying hard, yes. But... If he gets involved, Endeavor's never going to let Midoriya hear the end of it. So, for right now, he has to stay on the sidelines. Now, we do cut to Midoriya's point of view. After he kicked Endeavor, Endeavor, he did actually try to spin back around and hit Midoriya. Him successfully hitting Midoriya with the heavy gauntlet, and then actually going to bash him across the face. Now, 
But the way he does feel that blow, as it does actually knock one of his teeth somewhat loose, and he does begin to feel it click when he closes his mouth. Now, but the way he does hit the ground hard as he does go to get back up, turning to see Endeavor standing there directly in front of him. Midoya clicking his tooth, and then spitting out a mouthful of blood. Is that it? Really? You still think you can win? <laughs> it's not about winning, Endeavor. It's proving my point. Midoya says as he does put his hand on the ground, and begin to stand. Now, the moment Midoya does begin to raise up, you do have Endeavor who does kick Midoya across the face, and send him flying back into the ground. You think this is about that? You're interfering. <laughs> interfering with what? No. Endeavor does begin to walk forwards, as Midoriya does smirk. And he lights the ground under Endeavor a flame. A blaze, not a flame. Now, Endeavor, he does go to rocket up into the air to try and get away from the flames. As do have Midoriya, who does go to throw up his hands and grab Endeavor out of the air. As he's smirking. Now, Endeavor, he's trying to fight against the force Midoriya is holding. However, Midoriya, he's just tensing up his muscles more and trying to hold Endeavor there. As he does ask the number two hero how it feels. <laughs> what are you talking about? To have someone challenge you. Besides him. Hmm? You ch insolent child. <laughs> You're not used to it, are you? People fighting back? People being able to hurt you? I'll tell you something. What do I need to say? Him throwing his hands down to the left as never gets sent smashing through a building. And through three stories of it. Now. And ever smash through that building as he smashes into an alleyway of another one. And you do have Midori who does shout to Endeavor that he's going to show him what it's like whenever everything does come falling down. Him bring his hands up as the two buildings Endeavor just went through, and the one Midori went through earlier, they begin to alight on fire. As Todoroki, he does begin to start feeling the ground shake. Now, you do have back in the observation room, where All Might, he's trying to contact Nezu and everyone else. Now, All Might, yeah, he can already tell that this is bad. They both took out their comms and are currently fighting an actual fight against one another. Then there's the fact that no one's responding. All Might thinks he's going to have to step in. However, there's Balka who does talk about how Midoriya, he's not going to kill Endeavor. Hmm? What are you talking about? How can you be sure? Easy. This is a test for Endeavor, too, right? Hmm? They just had a family dinner. All Might thinking. Hmm. That couldn't have gone good. Yeah. And this is not about... Well, you know. Ah, uh, I somewhat understand. But I can't let this continue, can I? All Might, you don't have a choice. It's either they fight here now, or they fight somewhere else later. Now, we do cut back to Midoriya, as his nose is bleeding. As Midoriya picks up that skyscraper out of the air, along with beginning to push that one directly into the alleyway. As Endeavor, he's trying to move. Now, Endeavor, he does run out of the alleyway and quickly go to turn. As that building does come falling directly down and hit onto the one Endeavor just ran away from. Endeavor surprised it is go rocking backwards and think, this is not good. He's beginning to hit a limit. He's starting to get thirsty and he's starting to feel faint. Shit, this boy's good. Now, we do actually have Midoriya who, he does come flying at Endeavor as a giant fireball. Now, Endeavor, he is surprised. Whenever Midoriya directly rockets into his chest and hits him with both of his fists as hard as possible. Now, 
Midoriya he does just keep flying with Endeavor. As the doo doo the two do punch through a dumpster and directly smash into a wall. Before Midoriya, he does come to stand back up, and he's directly standing on top of Endeavor. As he throws a right hook and then a left. Right, left, right, left. Over and over again telling Endeavor that is this what he wanted? Is this what he wanted? This silly little test. He loves Fuyumi, and Endeavor can't do anything to stop it. Now, you do actually have Endeavor who, after Midoriya, he's thrown a fury of punches. He does bring up his hands, and he does begin to start taking Midoriya's blows over and over again. As you have Todoroki who does come up to the situation and see what's going on. As he does actually run over and go to try and grab Midoriya by the arm. Now, Midoriya doesn't respond, he just flings Toroki away and goes to throw up another punch. Midoriya breaking Endeavor's hero gauntlet. As you do actually then have somebody who does show up that Midoriya can't just toss away. As Midoriya does go to bring up his left hand, All Might directly grabs him by his arm. And Midoriya, he can't move. As he does turn telling Todoroki before looking to see it's All Might. Young man, you've proven your point. Now, Midoriya, he does turn back to Endeavor. To see a swollen eye, a busted nose, and a busted jaw. Along with the fact that Midoriya, he's pretty sure he may have broken Endeavor's form and a few of his ribs. As Endeavor, he does look directly at All Might, and he does just spit out a tooth. Hmm. Is that what you wanted, Endeavor? Now, Endeavor doesn't say a word, as he actually does. Go to look back at Midoriya. Going to try and open his mouth before he does just slump forwards. Now, Midoriya is breathing, breathing very heavily. As All Might does tell them that it does seem to that both of them have won. Now, All Might, he does look at Midoriya and say that this young man, he really shouldn't have done what he did. However, personal matters should not be mixed up in hero matters, does he understand? This will be his one warning. And he will get a pass since he was very well-rounded up until this point, and he showed promise as a very good hero. Now, we do actually then have afterwards, where Midoriya, he's taken off his hero costume and been able to get most of the blood and everything else off of it. Now. With that being said, for right now, I will be ending this recording, and I do hope you guys enjoyed that part, since that's probably the most battle we might get out of this one.